Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am getting started on my Blue Fern Studios design team project. And this is going to be, uh, Gail has no idea what she's doing, <laughs> kind of a video. We'll see how I do. Um, so uh, I am using the beautiful Jane's Memoirs by Jen Bishop. I'm using instructions on this journal that were used to create a journal at Creativation. And um, I've wanted to try my hand at it. I'm gonna do the cover on camera. Um, I don't know that I'll do much else on camera, but I would definitely do a flip through at the end and show you and explain what, what I've done and stuff. So. We'll see how it goes. So first I wanna say hi and hugs to Jen, to Janita, her mom who did these amazing instructions, and then to Susan and Anne from Blue Fern. So hi and hugs to all of you, and I hope I don't mess this up today. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I haven't been this nervous to do a video in a long time. Okay, so I think I have what I need for the book cover, which is a 12 by 12 piece of paper, my uh, scoring board, and then I'm gonna need another piece of paper, which my paper's just right there handy. Um, I have this piece of, let's see, let me just tell you. Um, this is a one and a half by 22 inch piece of fabric for spine covering. This is a one by 36 piece of muslin for the binding. And I have here two pieces of coordinating paper. So I think that's all I need for the, for the cover. If, if, there's more. I'll be telling you to talk amongst yourselves. So we'll see how I can follow directions. I don't know. This could be a total disaster, but we'll see how we do. Okay, so I'm to take the 12 by 12 piece of paper. Don't remove the branding strip. Okay, rotate, rotate it right side to the right design side up right is that right or is this right <laughs> i'm already confused okay rotated to the right design side up This could be a disaster. I may really have to do this off camera. Okay, so rotate it to the right. Do you feel like this is right? Because this could, nope, that would be left. This is right, I think. Okay. Okay, well, we're just going to go for it. What the heck? I, ha I have already ordered another pack of this paper, so if I mess it up. Okay, score at... Six and six and a half. See, I feel like that's going to be the spine. That's what's confusing me. Six and six and a half. Okay, then it says rotate one quarter turn and score at one and a half and ten and a half burnish score lines glue the half inch folds down on each side okay here's what i'm going to do because i'm i'm confused already um hang on one second i'm just gonna grab Let's see, that's not quite right. Okay. 
Okay, I just grabbed a piece of paper that I don't care about. And it can be, okay, so I'm going to say my image is here, right? Right? So let's try it in the way we think it's supposed to be. Okay, so turning it to the right, six and six and a half. That I can do. Six and six and a half. Okay. Okay. Rotate one quarter, one quarter turn and score at one and a half and ten and a half. One quarter turn. I guess. Looks like that. One and a half and ten and a half. Okay, glue the half inch folds down. So these are gonna be glued down. And then you're gonna glue this little piece of chipboard. This is a 3 8 piece of chipboard. You're gonna glue it down the spine like that. So see, that is going to be, so I don't think I want to, see, because then my image is sideways. So uh, she did these instructions to work with the bird walls. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to do six and six and a half here, right? Okay, well, I'm going to try it. Okay, so because this is the part that I want to be my that I want to be my cover. So six, look at me just being fearless and going for it. I'm glad I did that though, because I would have ruined this piece of paper. Not that you couldn't have used, you know, some of it. Okay, this is easier than, it, than I made it look. So six, six and a half. Okay, then half a turn this way. And one and a half and ten and a half. One and a half and ten and a half. Okay. Okay. I have a pencil that's ticking me off right there. <laughs> this is so tense. I'm so tense right now. Okay, and we're supposed to burnish these down. Gotta admit, Blue Fern Studios paper is the best to work with. It just really is. Okay, burnish that down. Okay. And then we're going to glue the folds down on each side. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sweating. <laughs> okay. I guess this is good. And then we're going to glue those down. So it says glue one half inch folds down on each side. Why does this one look bigger? One and a half. And that one's two because I I did it wrong. Dang it. Okay. 
This is like oh, one and a half and ten and a half. I did it just like she said. Oh, you know why it's off? It's because of the branding strip. That's why. So, how big does this make this? It's like nine. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. I might have to adjust some things, but that was what was wrong. But I, it said to leave the branding strip on, but I think because my paper was oriented a different way, that was, that was the issue. Janita, if you're watching this, you're probably having a good, good laugh at your friend Gail. Because I am hopeless. But, you know, maybe it'll all turn out in the end. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> May have to come up with a different project. <laughs> for my... Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's making it about the size that I would want it, though. So it's fine. Okay, that is glued down. Okay, those two things are glued. Okay, where's my pin to put into my glue? Okay, then... Our little, um, our little spine is gonna, now I know why she said, if you can, go ahead and, um, go ahead and score it on both sides, but because of the, yeah, because of that. That's all right. That's all right. I should have, though. That's okay. We're making it work. <laughs> Maybe when, if I do this again, I'll do better. Okay. All right. So that's... That's not right because it's not the same on both sides. Okay. The um, six and six and a half. So, well, I'm in. Uh, it makes sense that this is out of ways, but maybe it's supposed to be. Well, we'll keep going. It might become. Uh, let's see. What did we call those? Waterfall journal. <laughs> okay. So, glue the fold. Okay, glue the chipboard piece to the, in the spine. Okay. Like that. Okay. We can do that. <sighs> Janita, this is making me sweat. Okay. And all you gals that we're at Creativation and, oh my gosh, my dog just came in. It sounds like I'm crazed on the house. Okay, so like this is nine and it should be eight and a half because this was eight and a half. So I don't know, I might need to cut this off. I think I do. I think I do. Okay, well, that's okay. Okay, so now what? Oh yeah, take a 12 by 12 and cut two pieces, eight and a half by nine and seven eighths. So every place it says eight and a half, I'm gonna have to go nine because I messed this up. And, and the reason I messed it up is I want that to be the front, right? So I'm going to have to adjust. I'm going to have to adjust all the way along. All right. But 
for right now, I'm going to cut this off because, let's see, half an inch. Yep, half an inch. Yeah, it's the, it's because I turned the paper. That's okay. That's pretty strict. We'll keep that. All right. I hope this is helping you know that I don't always know what in the heck I'm doing either. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So pocket. So I'm going to go nine by five and seven eighths. That's what I'm going to do because my book is taller. Okay. So what do we want to use for the inside pockets is the question. Which one of these luscious papers Oh man, I just don't even know. That one might be nice or or that one. They're all so pretty. How am I supposed to decide? <clears throat> well, I don't want to take the lady ones cuz Maybe I'll do this one. Isn't that pretty? Oh, they're so luscious. My pal Jen, she outdid herself. Okay, so now I'm going to do nine. Don't let me do anything else. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to take off the strip now. This is called adjusting. See, when we did the class at Creativation, we had um, we had examples that the gals had made. And so they knew what they were doing when they were showing people what, I, you know, and I was showing people too, but it was easier to see when the book's already done. Okay, so seven, five and seven eights. See, eights confuse me. One, two, three, four, five. Five, right there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to cut off that light. Well, maybe if I go this way. Five and one, two, three, four, five eighths. Okay. Okay, and now we need to make them um, nine inches. Now this one, I want to go like that so I don't lose my lady. Okay. It's a little bit too big. Just a tiny bit too big. Where's my pencil? <laughs> Just a tiny bit too big. Cut that off right there. Okay. Oh my gosh, isn't that side pretty too? Okay. I could barely sleep last night thinking about this. For good reason, it turns out. <laughs> okay, let's do, let's do this part. So I'm going to go nine. I wonder if it's going to be too long that way. I might have to check that. Okay, and then... I'm assuming this one's going to be a bit too long, too. Yeah, just a, just ever so slightly. Okay. Okay. Okay, nine, so they're nine, right? I did that part, okay. Cheesy peasy, okay, so now what? Oh, 
place glue along the wrong sides at the top and the bottom, the shorter edges. Press glued pieces into the inside covering, centering so there's a little even space at the top and the bottom. Okay, so like that. Okay, I think I need to take off a little bit on the bottom. Just a little bit. Janita, I am so amazed that um, you could figure this out. I mean, because she was just going as she went. Janita was. And then, and then wrote up the instructions. Okay, okay. So now, I have this here. And I can have a little bit on the top and bottom, as she said. Okay, glue the short edges. I'm going to do that, because this becomes a pocket. I hate to cover up this gorgeous back side of this paper though, don't you don't you know? Like okay. Okay. It still folds. Okay. I'm gonna call that a win. Got a little bit hanging over I might have to trim off. Okay, then this one is going to go that away. Okay, short edge. Okay, yes, there's no storytelling, there's no chatting going on here. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sweating, I'm just trying to figure this out. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So now I'm going to need to trim this slightly just with my scissors. I think I'll use no, those are how about these ones? Use a little tougher scissors just because the I have to tell you, everybody that did these journals in the class, their journals turned out awesome. But it was tough to get the whole journal in in an hour. And um, no, not an hour. In I think we had four hours or something. I mean, Anne did a great job teaching it, but holy buckets, it's all it was a lot. There's a lot to this journal. And I, I don't know. I might come on and do a few, but um, I have a plan for my videos for May that I want to do. So I may be doing a lot of this off camera. Okay. But I th think we're doing good. I think so far so good. Okay. <clears throat> When glue has dried, insert the flat pocket tags you made earlier. Oh, okay. So earlier, flat pocket tags. Okay, well, we'll make those tags later <laughs> that go into the, into the cover. Okay, spine cover. Take... Piece A, which is this, 
and glue this piece along the outside and inside of the spine with the seam on the inside of the journal. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I am just gonna go like that. Okay. All right, so let's see, how wide is this? Um, and 22 inches. Okay, anyways. Okay, I am going to put glue on the outside and then wrap it around. Lori, are you watching this? Lori, my friend Lori Delia um, from Piles of Paragraphs. She was at um, Creativation and she took this class. I couldn't take it because after the first class Blue Fern did, everybody went and signed up for this one, so there wasn't enough kits. They had all the stuff prepared for this. It was amazing. And they had so many people sign up that they spent, I don't know how long, the night, um, the night before, <laughs> they spent a long time preparing more kits. Okay, okay, so far so good. Okay, and then I'm gonna put this around this away and up that away. That's what's happening. Okay, this feels familiar, so this feels good. A little piece of chipper board isn't quite big enough. I hope that doesn't cause problems with the spine, but we will see. Okay. So I can actually cut off a little bit of that. Um. Okay, that goes up like that. Seam is in the inside. Okay, Gail, I think you did that really well. All right, so then, okay, so that's that. Inside fabric, inside cover fabric pocket. Create a pocket for the front inside of the cover by taking fabric pieces I, I didn't do those, clear down here, five and a quarter and three quarters by four. Okay, well, we can find some fabric for that. And then there's binding, okay. So I need to find some fabric to go on the inside here. Um, I think I might just grab this fabric. <clears throat> so five and three quarters and four inches high. Okay, this is where I'm gonna go rogue because I don't want it to just be fabric. I want it to be um, a little heavier than that. Five and three fourths. Um, what do I have for Okay, here's, I'm going rogue here. Let's see. 
Oh, good. I'm only a half hour in. Okay, remember this piece of paper. <laughs> I am gonna, I am gonna cut this. I'm going to cut this here where it's scored just because I don't want the scored part. Um, and then I'm going to make it five and three quarters by four. Uh, let's go five and three quarters. Okay, and then we're going to go four. And then I'm going to go four this away. Okay. Oh. So it's just the front that has the pocket. Gosh, I hate to cover that up, Janita. You know what I mean? I hate to cover up that, that prettiness. How much is going to... But it'll still look pretty. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these two pieces together. Now, is my, because mine is a little different size, this is the front cover. <gasps> I put everything upside down. Oh my gosh. Yep, I sure did. I put her right upside down. <laughs> Have you guys known that the whole time? Okay, so here's the what was it going to do. Where's it going to put a little pocket on the front? See, that'll be fine. And on the back. And that's fine too. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to. Oh, Janita, are you just rolling your eyes at your pal? Oh my gosh. Gail, you are the worst. Okay, so later on, is there a back cover anything? Front cover pocket. Okay, well, I'm going to make a pocket in the back, too. I guess I can do what I want, right, Janita? And what I got to do, got to do what I got to do here to fix my goober. Oh, Gail. Okay. Okay. Do I get any points for <laughs> for doing this on camera? <laughs> I I would like to get some points for doing this on camera. Oh goodness. Okay. Okay. Okay, I am what I'm doing is I'm gonna cover these card stocks just to give the pockets a little more weight. Because this is not by any means a heavy fabric. So okay, so we are gonna do this. Oh, I cannot believe I did everything upside down. <laughs> Louise. Okay, well, we're gonna we're gonna make it work. It's gonna work just fine. We're gonna we're gonna just move along. We're gonna pretend like we know what we're doing. I'm gonna cut these at a slight angle on the and each corner so that I can fold it up. And going to be great. <laughs> what 
don't know what I meant to do on the back cover, but it's going to get a pocket too. We're going to have matching pockets. Ooh, those are cute little snippets. I think I'll keep those. Sheezy peasy. Yeah. <clears throat> so while I'm doing this, I can tell you that. Um, had to go to Walmart today to get my prescriptions. And so we bit the bullet and then it took longer because they didn't, they didn't have one of them ready. Um, but we left Jimmy Joe on his own and we both left pairs of our shoes down on the floor. We left the pillow that when he was littler that he could not leave alone. We left that uh, sitting on the chair and we got home and everything was a-okay. That good boy, he just didn't bother anything. So that was exciting. Okay, I like that better. It's got, it's not super stiff, but it's got a little bit of body to it. And isn't that gonna be pretty? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Gail. Yeah, let's make sure we put the pockets on the right side now. Yep. So this just goes to show you. Oh, what am I throwing those away for? Those are cute. Um, that it took a while for me to learn this craft too. People say, how do you get so much done so quickly? Well, I've been doing this for four years, almost nonstop, every day, almost, except when I was on vacation, back when we used to get to go on vacation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. We're opening up in Montana, so we'll see how it goes. Um, when we went to Walmart, there were a lot of people there, a lot of people. And I would say maybe a quarter of them, maybe were wearing masks. So I hope we don't, I hope we're not sorry that we opened up, but my hairdresser called. I have appointment next Tuesday. So hopefully, cause I'm getting to be a, a, a little bit of a shaggy person. A little on the shaggy side. Okay. Okay. Now, that's happy. Um, create a pocket and don't glue the cover shut. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> okay. We're good. We just, our, our beads are hanging from up here down this way. And our key's upside down. But it's okay. It's all good. I think it's all good. Okay. So, I'm going to put that like that. Okay. There's back pocket. It's going to be the front pocket. <clears throat> okay, I, I fully recovered from my faux pas, I think. I think we're going to be okay. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're too much into the spine. All right. Okay. 
Okay, we have pockets. <clears throat> Binding. Take the piece of this, wrap it around, and tie it in a bow. See, this is what I think is so cool. Okay, let's make sure we're somewhat even here. We're wrapping it, and we're going to tie it in a bow back here. Going over the top, so my bunny ears are at the top and my tails are at the bottom. <sighs> okay. Okay, now see, what's so cool about this journal is all the pages are going to slip under here. So you can add as many as you want. You can take some out if you want, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> so we did that, right? So now, on to the next thing. So we place these fabrics at the top and the bottom of the spine, like so, and glue them to the front of the journal, like here and here. <clears throat> um, oh, no. First we do the front, then we close the book and glue them to the back so that this strip has room to move freely. So I think I want that pretty stripe there and this pretty here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna glue these. Glue that. Okay, and then I'll glue this. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave that for just a second. Let those dry on there. Then I'm going to close this and glue it back here. I'm leaving it loose enough that the Binding can move. Okay. That one. This one. Okay. Back cover pocket page. Whoop. Okay, well we may or not may not be doing that because <coughs> because I already put those in there. That's all right. I get to do I get to do what I want to do. Okay. Now I do think I want to play with little bit of the um, chipboard on the front. I think I will put some chipboard. I might put some lace. Oh, decorate the front cover. Lace border strips at the top and bottom. The lace flower gets Blue pink pocket. Nope, not going to do that because I don't want to cover up her. Yeah, I think I'm just going to decorate the front cover the way I want to decorate the front cover rather than follow the directions. 
because this is a whole different paper collection. So what I was going to look at is, see, we've got that. I was thinking maybe that would work with that, but no. So, ooh, I have these fun chipboard pieces. I maybe do one of those across the top up here or something. This is called Chantilly Lace. I'm wondering. Come here, you. So what I was wondering is if I could maybe put that across the top. Ooh, I kind of like that. Then we'd emboss it. So that's a thought. I think I might like one of the charms hanging off the bow, but we can do that later. I just want to see what else, if there's any wonder okay, if I put that there. Ooh, there's another. Just seeing, just seeing what we got here to, to play with. What about, and this one is called Jane's Cameo. Yeah, it's too small, isn't it? That would look funny. So no. No, no, no. Not going to do that. We'll do something with that on the inside. So what my plan is, is on the inside is to do, um, to, to do some of the pages that Janita had, had done, but um, probably they will you know, be it slightly different because the difference in the papers, you know. This one's afternoon tea, and what I want is the flower up there. Not you, not you, but you. Because I was thinking then I could maybe put that down there. Hmm. And I could use some other flowers from Blue Fern. I love this flower too, but I think it's angled the wrong way. You know what I mean? This one's Jane's Baubles. It's this, see? Maybe not. Maybe I'd like to do that. Oh, I think I'll emboss those two and do that. Okay. Well, this is going to be my first project. This will not be my last with this paper because I am in love with it. Okay, so then. Yeah. And so I think I need to cut this like right up the center here. That should have kept that out. How are we doing time wise? Okay, we're getting to an hour. I'm excited about this. I think it turned out pretty well, considering <laughs> a little bit of a false start, little different size, a little different size, a little bit different on the inside than it 
would have been, but that's okay. Okay, so I need to emboss those. That's going to be my next project for the outside. And then I'm going to put them like that. Put them right like that. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Now my question to myself is, do I want any other lace? Which, this lace, lace three, it's called. I'm just wondering how this might be down here at the bottom underneath this. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, I can glue that on. <clears throat> just right there to there. Okay. Now I feel like I'm on a roll. I don't, I don't follow directions very well. Although I just thought this cover was so cool that, and you know, and to be able to put all kinds of different pages in it, that's just way fun. So I'm excited to do that. Okay. This is going to go just like that. Okay. This reminds me of doing my make and take, um, my make and take at the Cre Creativation. This, this one gal, sweetest gal ever, and so cute, young gal. Um, and she was just, she was just so artistic. You know, she took the basic instructions and then she just, went for it and it, it just was so fun to watch her okay so now that's going to go on there and the flower is going to be on top of it kind of like so and that up there I like it plans come together okay you guys I am going to call that a video and go take a nap <laughs> That was so stressful for me. Janita, your your um, directions are perfect. It's just that I'm using a different and I I don't know. And I did things upside down. That was that was that was my bad, but it looks okay, don't you think? I think it looks okay. I need to do oh, that's what I need to do. Let's ink it. Should have done that earlier, but us too busy reading directions oh yeah that's what we needed you know we needed some inking that's the other thing I love about Jen's um, papers is they ink beautifully I mean that I think the inking just enhances them so pretty And then we'll do the inside and then we'll be done for today oh it's good stroke business getting the cover done I guess right oh <laughs> I still can't believe I put these on upside down what a ding dong I'm sure you were all yelling, Gail, Gail, wait, 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 oh, <clears throat> I appreciate you trying, if I could only hear you, oh, that's so pretty, oh, yes, okay, and we get those embossings on the cover, and it's just going to be so pretty, 
That is fun. Well, thanks everybody for watching. I don't know. I might, I might get another one of these um, in. It just depends on what else I have to do. But um, like we need to make the front cover, uh, the things to go in the front covers, right? So anyway, do the embossing, maybe do the front cover or those front cover, um, whatchamacallit, front cover journaling cards. Okay, guys, we're going to call it good. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging in with me. And I'm um, sorry, I, I, I don't know that the instructions are going to be easy for you to follow. And um, I don't know. Uh, I, I know I'll get the question, are those instructions available? Um, you might have to ask Jen, but I, I don't know if Blue Fern kind of wants to kind of wants to keep this instruction pack because I know both Geneva and the gal from Blue Fern worked really hard on it. So, so anyway, I don't know if it's available, but, um, not, not for me. That's, that's the thing. So thank you so much, everybody. And we'll be back with something else tomorrow, whether it's this or something else, we'll just decide at the time. So take care. Stay safe and well and have a grateful day. Bye, everyone.